Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Old Boy's Little Homestead. As you can see, I'm in the house today because it is some kind of cold outside. Today is February the 13th. They say we got some harsh weather coming in the next two or three days. So I was wanting to plant up some more little tomato seeds. I planted all my tomatoes. I think back on. January the 16th, I believe it was, I started all my tomato seeds and pepper seeds and they in there under the grow lights growing. But the other day I got this little Southern Exposure Seed Exchange magazine in there and I'm just sitting in my easy chair looking. I come across these little lollipop cherry tomatoes. Some of them tropical fruits right there. And some of them ground cherries. But I just decided I'd order me some because I like experimenting and growing different things. So I'm going to start these seeds today. And I'm going to start them in an eggshell carton inside the eggshell. Just put my soil in the eggshell, put my seed in them, then I just got the carton basically as a holder, hold them up straight. Just because I've never done it. We're kind of just going to see how it works. I know it'll work. Ain't no reason for it not to work. But I kind of like the idea when you get ready to seed them up, you can just give that a little smash and it breaks right off of your soil, picking in a bigger part of the size. But I'm going to do two of each. Of the goldies ground cherries, two of the lollipops, tomatoes, and two of the tropical sunset cherry tomatoes. Then the other six in the eggshell, I'm going to do some bright light Swiss chard. And what I'm doing today, I got one of these little clear containers. Went to town this morning, stopped by and filled my truck up with gas, and they had them big old cinnamon rolls in these containers. So I got me some tri colored romaine blend lettuce. And I'm going to just kind of seed that around in that. Kind of have a little mini greenhouse effect, which I have it in here under the grow lights. Once our cold weather passes, if it ain't big enough to transplant out in my little garden yet. Or the weather ain't gonna be good. I'm put it out in my little cold frame. But anyway guys, I'm just experimenting. I just like experimenting and playing. But we're gonna plant these up in these eggshells. Already pre moist in my soil. I like pre moisture in mine. I tried it a couple of different ways putting the dry in and then moisting it, but I like it kind of pre moisture to start with. But I put it down in them. Same thing if you're doing a sale in the tray, you want to just kind of use your thumb, pack it down just a little bit, make it firm. But on these now, I don't think about starting them in the eggshells. You can't do no bottom water, and I have to water these from the top. And I mostly like watering mine from the seedlings from the bottom. But I just thought it'd be neat just to start some in eggshells. I know there's other videos out there. Ain't no fun in just watching other videos if you don't try something new yourself. Am I saying you see on my banner there? You always do what you always done. You always get what you always get. I'm a person about trying, trying something different. 
nodes they end up being. And like these little lollipop tomatoes, they might be some of the best little eating tomatoes you can have just to have out there for pickers in the garden and keep. But if they ain't, that's just something else I have out in the garden growing. When I ordered them little ground cheese, though, I wanted them little ones. Remember what they called a co cosack or cosack pineapple? Supposedly they say they got a hint of pineapple flavor, and I love pineapple. But when I went to order, and that's just been a few days ago, they didn't have none. And on the goldies, it says it's the later version, or the later variety. With larger plants and slightly larger fruit than the Cossack pineapple. But it didn't say nothing about them having a hint, a hint of a pineapple flavor. So I went on and mold them. I'm just experimenting and playing anyway. So. Ain't no big deal, they don't taste like a pineapple. On these first two down here, we're gonna do these tropical sunset. Like I said, they come from Southern Exposure Seeds Change. I don't just order from one place, I order from different places. Pretty good seeds. I need to go get my tweezers. have two seeds in one and three in another. I was trying to get just two seeds. And then I'm gonna just sprinkle some more soil on the top of there. Add it down. Now I know this is just as simple to start your seeds in your little egg crate and the cells in it. You wouldn't even have to fool with the egg shell. But I thought it would be neat to try it. Who knows, the egg shell might give it. Give your seedling something they need. Might, might be some kind of fertilizer in it. Old. Next up, we're going to plant these lollipops. It says they hang from the limb like lollipops. I wish they taste like lollipops. Oh boy, he likes him some of them lollipops. I hate it. I can start growing lollipops. I bet I'd have every kid in the community stopping by to see me. I can start growing lollipops on a tree. I'm sure I'd have a lot more than kids coming by to see me, wouldn't I? All right, these next two is gonna be your little goldy ground cherries. Oh, them some little bitty seeds. Little bitty, 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 bitty seeds. Amazing how God created. Uh, 
server thing. They have a little bitty seed and it'll turn into something you need. And a tree turn into something. Easy. All right, next I'm gonna do on these Swiss charred bright lights. Now these these are some I got last year. They come from Berkeley. Seeds. I'm gonna just take these pencil hands. Just them down in there a little bit. Then cover them. One of them seeds fell on it. I'm trying to find it. Next few days, I'm going to be starting my seeds for my squash and cucumbers and my second rounds of seeds. I already done, done my early stuff and my tomatoes and peppers. So I don't know what I'm going to be planting here in the next few days. Seeding, I mean. But I wanted to go and get these little tomatoes here started since I was so late. Like I said, I just seen them in that book and I said, I'm going to order me some of them. I got room, some containers and raised beds. I got room to put them. Just to spare me. Later. Next up, take some of that soil out. It don't need to be that deep to start. I'm going to start some of this. I colored try color romani lean and pack it up. They come from seeds and such. That is I already started some of this. But let us I like having started at different stages. I just kind of sprinkle this around in there and when I go to put it out in the garden, I just kind of pull them apart. And a lot of times I pull them apart and plant every six inches. Then I take other seeds and put a few seeds in between them. enough in there I can kind of just dab them around, rake them around, make sure they get in contact with the soil. I 
That's all damp enough. I ain't even gonna miss it. All I'm gonna do, guys, is take them in there. Put them under my grow lights. Thanks for watching. You have a good day.